Jupiter the Gassy Giant. A Space Smells Book by K.J. Field. Hi, I'm Jupiter and I'm the biggest planet around. I make waves wherever I go. I control asteroids with a single flex of my gravitational muscles. Poor Earth, I send the feisty ones in her direction. They don't call us near-Earth objects for nothing. Coming through! Careful, you're getting a little too close for comfort. My gravity isn't the only thing that makes me a force to be reckoned with. My gas is giant too. Billions of miles of gassy goodness can really pack a punch. Hey, Dorian Fruit, I think we found a new member for our club. By Jove, I think you're right. But not everybody appreciates the zing of this giant's gassy surface. Well, if it is an Io and Ganymede, two of my favorite moons. Unlike Earth and my many lunar friends, I don't have a solid surface. It's just layer after layer of gas as far as the nose can smell. Did, Did he, he say, say gas? gas? Gas planets and rocky moons are as different as night and day. The top layer of my atmosphere, called the exosphere, is made up of helium, a noble gas for a noble planet. You mean you're filled with the same stuff that makes balloons fly? I thought everybody was made of rock like us. And lots and lots of hydrogen. Which, by the way, is a highly explosive gas under the right conditions. Quick, Io! What happens when you mix potato chips and hydrogen? But those gases are odorless. Tsk, tsk! That stuff is going to float all the way out to interstellar space. Good thing you can't smell helium and hydrogen. Is that all you got, big guy? Deep down is where it starts to get interesting. Warning! Hazardous fumes ahead. I don't know about this, Ganymede. If you're brave enough to explore my gaseous swirls, you'll find some aromatic surprises. Smell at your own risk! The light layers look safe. Challenge accepted? The lighter layers give off the delicate fragrance of ammonia. That's the chemical found in human-made cleaning products. Can I pick somebody else to orbit? Clean up an aisle six! And in a natural substance everyone knows all too well. Urine! You take the next layer, Ganymede! Anybody know where the nearest rest stop is? If you journey a little deeper into the layers, you get a bonus. The stench of rotting eggs to go with your ammonia. It's like... Someone didn't take out the garbage for 4.6 billion years. You're smelling the next one, Io. That's the hydrogen sulfide. As your nose travels to the heavier layers, you'll encounter hydrogen cyanide. Not bad, I guess. Cyanide can be quite toxic. This chemical compound delivers the aroma of bitter almonds or sweet marzipan, depending on your point of view. Mmm, marzipan cake! All that gas creates some powerful odors. It also whips up some powerful storms. Did you know my great red spot can break wind at 425 miles per hour? Or 680 kilometers per hour? Remind me to bring my windbreaker next time! You two really have a way with words! 
You might also be interested to know that when the pressure inside me gets really strong, I can squeeze my gas into liquid. Oops! I am most definitely not interested in knowing that. Gross! We're out of here! Leaving so soon? We're taking a break from all that wind! See you around, big guy! Hey! What's that burning stench? One of my 400 volcanoes just shot a poisonous plume of sulfur dioxide into space! Cool! The end! The scent of Jupiter. How do we know? Is it possible to know what Jupiter smells like? Well, yes, sort of. We can't travel to Jupiter, and even if we could, we wouldn't be able to breathe once we got there, much less smell Jupiter's gas. But we can study Jupiter's chemistry from the safety of our own planet, and that can give us a good idea what kinds of odors may be wafting in those ginormous gassy swirls. Scientists use sensitive telescopes and spacecraft to study the chemical composition of space objects like Jupiter. Researchers also use techniques such as spectroscopy. Spectroscopy detects individual wavelengths of light emitted by particular molecules. Hydrogen, oxygen, methane, nitrogen, and other chemicals all have their own unique light-emitting fingerprints. When astronomers look at sunlight bouncing off planetary atmospheres, they can match these fingerprints to their corresponding gas. Since the chemicals on Jupiter are also found on Earth, we can use our own experience to imagine how Jupiter smells.